Hungarian Freedom Revolution from the Soviet Union. The notion of communism that Lenin had built since 1917 was no longer compatible with social, cultural, and political developments in Budapest. The Hungarian people, in 1956, were more interested in liberalism. On October 23, 1956, demonstrations demanding the return of Imran Agis, post as prime minister began. The people like him, none other than his liberal policies. The procession of protesters organized by students was initially peaceful. They marched from the center of Budapest to the Hungarian parliament building. Apart from wanting Nagy, the masses also demanded clean elections, freedom of the press, and the expulsion of Soviet soldiers from the country. This demonstration attracted the interest of many people. Over time, the masses who voiced their opinions grew more and more. The number is recorded to react tens of thousands of people. The police did not let that happen and arrested him. However, the Hungarian National Security Authority, AVH, opened fire on the demonstrators from the top of the radio station building. A student was killed and wrapped in a flag. His body was then carried on a stretcher into the crowd. At this point, the demonstrations were no longer peaceful. A massive uprising was carried out. Angry crowds chanted revolution, independence over the Soviet Union. In an instant the unrest spread widely, the government was in chaos. Hundreds of people died. Clashes between civilians and the military are inevitable. For days, the police bared their fangs, Soviet tanks were not left pacing the streets. The unrest only subsided, on October 28. A ceasefire was enforced. The Soviets agreed, to withdraw their troops, from Hungary two days later. At the request of the people, Imran Ag, was returned to his position, as prime minister and allowed, to form a new government. The Soviets did not necessarily surrender. On November 4, the then Soviet leader, Nikita Khrushchev, sent his armored vehicle, to Budapest to end the bloody revolution. History records that the conflict between liberals and communism in Hungary ended on November 10, 1956. More than 2,500 Hungarian civilians died, and 700 Soviet soldiers were killed during the conflict. The revolution for independence has in fact also caused at least 200,000 Hungarian residents to exodus and become refugees to other countries in Europe. But the uprising, of tens of thousands, of Hungarians did not result in victory. The Soviets remained victorious, the revolution, on October 23 was categorized as, an attempted uprising, and banned all forms, of commemoration of this historic day. Nagy was executed in 1958, after undergoing a closed, and top secret trial in Budapest. It wasn't until 1989, just before the fall of the Soviets, that the Hungarian Republic declared October 23rd as a national day. In December 1991, the first president of Russia, Boris Yeltsin, apologized formally to the Hungarian people for the events of 1956. He repeated the apologe a year later while addressing the Hungarian parliament. In the following years, October 23rd became a national holiday in Hungary. A number of heads, of state came, and paid their respects, to the victims, of the demonstration, who are now considered heroes. And November 4, is the 60th anniversary, of the biggest revolution, that Hungary has ever seen. Thanks for watching till the end. See you next time.